I have spent more time trying to make ceiling fan smart than any other smart home product in my home. Now this one is currently smart, but it's using this really complicated setup over here where you need to push this and then you need to push that and turn this and I'm the only one in my house that actually knows how to use those functions with the voice assistant. Well, the good news is Hunter Fan Company has a solution to solve all of these problems. Hunter Fan Company did send these to me today for this review. So first off, we have a new fan here. Now this is the Advocate Collection, but there are a bunch of new fans that have what is called Simple Connect technology. So this will allow you to connect your fan via your favorite voice assistant, whether it be Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant, or Amazon's voice assistant. So first off, we're going to get this set up and installed. That does connect over Wi-Fi. And then the next thing we're going to do is show you how you can control this fan right from your light switch with the ceiling fan remote wall control. The specific fan I'll be using today is a 54 inch Advocate Collection, which is Wi-Fi connected, has an integrated LED light bulb, and it does have reversible blades as well. You got the Noble Bronze or the Black Walnut, and then it has a cased white glass. So there will be some electrical required to get this set up. So one way we will be able to control this is with this included fan remote, and uh, then follow the instructions. You should be good to go. The first thing we will need to do is turn off the power to our existing fan. And now remove it piece by 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 piece. Yay, now we are ready to install the new one. Now next we're going to add the bracket. Now there are two ways which you can do this. One, you could use machine screws in a fan rated box or here I'm going to drill into the joist and pre-drill some holes to use the wood screws to install the bracket. Next, I'm going to hang the fan onto the bracket and then we're going to do the wiring. Here you have the ground on the bracket, then we have the black, the white, and the blue. Now, because I only have one switch, I will not be using the blue, but if you have a fan and a light switch, you would use uh, the black for the light and the blue for the fan. So for the wiring, I'm going to take the green cable and attach it to the ground with the included wire nuts. And then I'm going to take the black, attach it to the black, and the white, attach it to the white. And since I won't be using the blue cable, I'm just going to put a wire nut on it. And then I'm going to tuck the wiring in so that I'm ready to mount the fan. First, we're going to add some slots with screws for the fan to hang on. Then we're going to hang up the fan, add and tighten the screws. Then we're going to snap the canopy covers into place. Then we're going to take a screw, add a washer, and install the four fan blades. That was easy. Then we're going to add the light kit assembly, lower switch housing, and the LED assembly. So this does not actually have light bulbs. It has this little LED. And we're going to attach that and then plug in the white to the white and the blue to the black. And then we're going to add the glass and it is installed. Now that the power is back on, the fan is ready to be used. So here on our remote, we can easily turn on and off the light with the button. And then you can actually change the brightness by holding down. I'm gonna hold down the button. And there it's going to go dim. So that was its dimmest level. Now let's go ahead and hold down the button to turn up the brightness. And there we go. As you can see, that definitely fills up the room with light. And that gets much brighter than the light that we had before. That's awesome. And then here we have the option to change the fan speed. So I can use these controls. So it looks like it's at the fastest. And then we can turn it down. And then we can push the button to turn it off. Now let's go ahead and get this set up with the Simple Connect app. This is available on Android and iOS devices. Once we have it downloaded, let's open it up. Here it's mentioning that we'll be able to control everything right from the palm of our hand. And I'm going to go ahead and create an account. Once we have confirmed our account, we're gonna head back to the app and add a device. And then we're going to make sure the power is powered on. Now this will connect to a Wi-Fi that has 2.4 gigahertz 
most likely your Wi-Fi will have that, even though it may not show uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Next, we're going to use the remote and pull off the battery panel here. And then we're gonna hold the button down till it makes a tone and is in pairing mode. Just like that, the lights will flash. And then we need to scan a QR code which is found on the battery cover inside. And then it wants us to put in the eight digit code here. And now we are going to choose the Wi-Fi network we want it to connect to and enter the password. All right, and it has successfully connected to the Wi-Fi. So now we're going to link our account and now it has been linked to our account. So here we have the option to control our simple connect fan. We can simply adjust the light by turning on the light and then down below we can adjust the brightness as well. Next, let's turn on the fan. Now it will go to the last speed in which you did have the fan and it does take a little bit to turn on, but there we go. And here you can see it's ramping up to 100%. And then I can turn down the speed and it is a nice breeze in the home. Now let's look at the advanced options. So if you did have a separate light switch and fan switch, you can turn this on here to split the fan, but I don't have that, so we're gonna turn it off. Then you have the option to have audio feedback, so it will beep when you adjust the fan. You can also have the fan go to reverse, and you can turn off the dimming so it no longer will dim. So now I do have that option once it is on. And at the bottom here, we have the option to rename the fan. So we're just going to call this kitchen fan and then we're going to save that. And then let's go ahead and give the light a name. And this is above the couch, so I'm gonna call it couch light. You could also call it fan light or whatever you want. And if you do have multiple fans, you do have the option for rooms down here, so you can adjust the naming of the room. But now let's go ahead and add this to our different smart home apps. Let's start with the Google Assistant. For this, we're gonna head into the Google Home app. We're going to select the plus at the top left, and then select setup device, and works with Google. And then we're going to search for Simple Connect. Here it is, so we tap on that, and then we need to sign into our account, and then we need to authorize access. It has now linked our account to the Google Home app, so if we go back to the main page and scroll down to the bottom, under the Link to You section, we'll find the Simple Connect light. Here we can tap on the light, we have the option to turn the light on and off, and then we can also adjust the brightness. But if we click add to room, we can then organize it into our home. I'm then going to do the same for the Simple Connect fan. And at the top here, we can also adjust the name to whatever we'd like. So now I can turn off all the lights in the kitchen by tapping right here. And then also if I tap on the kitchen fan, I can then simply turn it on and off. Now let's test this on the Nest Hub Max. Turn off couch light. Set couch light to 100% brightness. Next. Hey Google. Turn on kitchen fan. Got it. Turning on kitchen fan. Set kitchen fan to high. Sure, setting kitchen fan speed to high. And then I like here on the smart display, I have the option to see all the different speeds as well as tap to adjust. Turn off kitchen fan. All right, turning off kitchen fan. All right, now let's go ahead and link this with Amazon Alexa. On the Simple Connect home screen, tap the settings, and here we have Alexa integration. And then we're going to tap enable, and then we're going to sign into our account and authorize. Once it finds the devices, you'll see at the top here to view the new discovered devices. And here we can see that we have our couch light and our kitchen fan. And then I'm gonna scroll down and go into my kitchen group and add both of those devices to the kitchen. So here I have the couch light. I can tap on it. I can adjust it by turning it on and off right from the app. I also have the brightness controls and so on. And here with the kitchen fan, when I tap on it, I have the option to turn it on and off. And then I also can adjust the percentage or the speed of the fan. Let's test it out on the Echo Show. Turn on couch light. Mm -hmm. 
Set couch light to 100% brightness. Alexa. Increase kitchen fan. Alexa. Turn off kitchen fan. And to set this up with Apple HomeKit, we will need to sign into the Simple Connect app. Here I'm using the iPad, and then I will need to sign into my account, and then I will need to use the HomeKit code that can be found in the cover of the controller. Then I need to select to add the fan to the home. Once the fan is connected, we'll then give it a location in a room, and then we can give it a name. And then here in the kitchen room, we have the option to turn on and off the fan, and we can adjust the brightness of the light. And here we have the quick control to turn off the light. Let's go ahead and test it out with Siri. Hey Siri. Turn off Hunter light. Okay, the Hunter light is off. Hey Siri. Turn on Hunter light. Okay, the Hunter light is on. Hey Siri. Turn on Hunter fan. Done. Set Hunter fan to low. Okay, I set the Hunter fan to 25%. Hey Siri. Turn off Hunter. Okay, the Hunter fan is off. We now have our Simple Connect fan connected to the internet and working with all the voice assistants and that is working great. But let's talk about the other way in which we are going to use this fan, which is over here from the wall and with the remote. So first off, with the wall switch, if we turn that off, it's going to turn off the light and the fan because there's no longer power going to the fan. And we can come over here and turn it back on and the light comes back on. The fan does kick on, but if you do turn off the wall switch, you are not able to use those voice assistants anymore. So first, let me talk to you about how you can control the fan with the remote. And then let me show you a way in which we can solve the problem of the light switch being turned off. So looking at the remote, this is actually one of the most advanced fan remotes I've ever seen. Now there's only a few buttons, but if you look at the guide, you can see all the different things that we can do. So we can turn on and off the light just by pushing the button, but if the light's on and then we push and hold the button down, that will actually adjust the brightness right from the light, which is really cool. So then if we quick press, that will turn the light off. Next, we have the fan. So if we press the fan, it will turn the fan on or off. Then if we want to adjust the speed, we then push the button up. So let's see, is the fan on? Nope. So I turn on the fan and then I increase the speed. All right, and the speed is going up so I can go faster speed and then I can go lower speed. Now, if I want to reverse the fan, so if I want it to go in the other direction for winter or for summer, you would hold down on the fan button and then that would reverse the speed. Now you have a few other options. So here we can do fan updraft where we long press the fan and the up. We can do fan downdraft where we long press the fan and down. We can do dimming mode off. So if you don't want it to dim, you can hold down the up and down arrow at the same time. You can also enable beep. So let's do that. If we hold down the volume and the up button, now the fan is going to beep when we use controls. So if I turn on the light, it will give a beep indication saying it was done. And that is the sound for turning off. And then to disable the beep, you're gonna hold down the light and down. And so that is how you can control the Simple Connect fan with the remote. Now let's head over and talk about the light switch. So here we have the Hunter ceiling fan remote wall control. Now this allows us to do all the functions we had on the remote and this also is compatible with other Hunter fans that have receivers. So here in the box, there's the wall control. It does come with a Hunter faceplate there. And then here on the back, we have ground and we have the load going to the fan and the power going to the switch as well as placement for two AA batteries. 
And in the box, it does come with the batteries as well as some wire nuts and other screws to get this mounted and set up. And here is a little quick control guide and again has very similar functions to the remote that I just showed you. Let's go ahead, turn off the power, get this installed. After removing our switch, now let's go ahead and put in the batteries. This does have a battery cover you can place on as well. Now I'm not exactly sure why you need batteries and to wire this, but that's what we need to do. Next we're going to connect the wires. So first we're going to use the green and connect it to the ground um, here that is the unsheathed copper wire back here. Next on the back of the wall control you'll see a picture of a fan and we're going to connect that to the wire that goes to the fan or the load wire. And then next we have the VAC wire which is going to be connected to the line that comes into this light switch. Once that is done, we're going to press all the wires back into the light box, and then we are going to attach the wall control and add a faceplate. Then within three minutes of turning on the power, hold down the light and the fan button. It will then flash and it is now paired to the fan. And now our wall control is set up and ready to go. Now, if you don't want to pick up a wall control, you also can mount the remote right to the wall. The back of this just pops off like that. And then you can screw that in the wall and then you snap this on and then you are able to easily place your remote, which is really nice, but I like having this built in and the option where somebody's not going to turn off the light switch. So now let me walk you through the functions of the wall control. Okay, so first off, we can turn on and off the light. So simple press of the button and the light turns on and off. If we hold down the up arrow, that will push the light at the full brightness. And then if we hold down the down arrow, that will put it to the most dim level. Next, we have the option for the fan. So if we press, that will simply turn on the fan to whatever state it was. Now it does take a couple seconds for it to engage, but there it goes. And then we have six different levels of speed that we can use. Now this does use the Sure Speed technology, which immediately you feel a nice breeze once this fan is enabled. So let's go ahead and decrease the speed down on the fan. All right, so here it is at speed one, and then we can push the up arrow to increase the speed. And just like the light, if we hold down up, that will change the fan to full speed, and then it will cool off the room. And then when we're done using the fan, we can simply just press the fan button, and it will turn off. And then when we're ready to turn it back on, we push the fan button, it turns it back on to the speed we were using. Now, one thing about the wall control is you do have a full power. So if you wanna completely kill the power to the fan, you can press the power button here on the bottom, but that does totally turn off the power. So right now, none of these smart functions will be able to work. You need to have that pressed in and powered on so that you are able to use the full functions of the fan. So I would just use the light and the fan button to have full control, whether you're gonna use smart control or whether you're going to be using the wall control here. So after using this Simple Connect fan for a few days, I'm very impressed. Now right now I have it on full speed and it does produce a little extra sound, but one of the most impressive things is the air in which it is pushing through this room. So on a hot summer's day, this is going to be the perfect addition to our home. Now, I've really enjoyed that this can connect with all the different smart devices. Works with Google. Set kitchen fan to medium. Sure, setting kitchen fan speed to medium. All right, there I was able to change the fan speed and it changes pretty quickly. I like that it works with Google, Amazon, as well as Apple, and I'm actually very impressed with how quickly HomeKit was able to work. Um, haven't used that as much as the other ones. Now, one of my favorite things is being able to have the full control right on the remote. There's no more um, little dangly things to control the light. And then I also love the new integration of the wall control. I think I'm gonna go out and buy one of these for 
all the fans that I have that are Hunter have their wireless remote already. I just need to put one of those in the wall switch and then that will solve so many problems with people being able to still use the smart controls and then being able to control the fan right from the wall, which is just a huge thing in the improvement of smart fans because I've tried out a ton and there's always a problem and this solves so many of those different problems. So overall, the Simple Connect fan is really a great product and something I can definitely recommend. If I were to make any changes, I would love to see it connect with the SmartThings platform. And then I'd also love to see just a little faster integration between the app and the fan. Now when using this with voice assistants, it actually works really good. Hey Siri, turn off the Hunter light. Okay, the Hunter light is off. <laughs> Pretty quick. Hey Google, turn on couch light. just a second longer there. But overall, very impressed with the speed that it will work with your voice assistants. Now with all of this, you also have the option to create different routines where it can automatically turn on the lights or the fan at different times of the day and different times of the year, depending on what you need for your home. So if you have any further questions about this fan, please let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to pick up one of your own, I will leave a link in the description below. So if you wanna check out more of my smart home, you can see a full tour right there or other smart home videos down there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.